Please help me welcome fashion designer, activist, winner of Project Runway All-Stars, and my friend, Mr. Mondo Guerra. Oh, thank you. Hi, friends. How's it going? Whew, that is always so overwhelming watching that. I, and I, and I, don't, I haven't really uh, processed why, but it really gets to me still. Um, I will start out by saying, you know, I really didn't know that this intense moment on a reality television show would really change the course of my life. But I have to tell you that it wasn't at that moment when I really realized what I was supposed to do. It actually happened six months before I was cast on the show. Six months before I was cast on the show, I was in the hospital with PCP pneumonia, and I was dying from AIDS with a CD4 count of 14. It was on Christmas Day when my mother came into the room and I had told the doctors not to tell her my situation. She approached the bed with a small Christmas tree and she told me, we're not gonna open these presents until you come home. And in my heart, in my mind at that point, I felt like I wasn't going to get out of that hospital. For such a long time, I had really let HIV define who I was. And that was very terrifying. And it was really destroying my spirit, my individuality. It was destroying my need to be creative. And so when my mom said that she was going to wait until I got home, all I could do was visualize my family in the living room with the Christmas tree, the same living room that I had celebrated Christmas with them for the past 31 years, knowing what they were talking about and also knowing what they were eating and just wanting that so bad. And she left. And I looked out the window and it was snowing. It was a perfect day. But it, that day was really my rock bottom. That's when I had to make the conscious decision to get back my life. And at that moment, I decided to start creating life goals and creative goals and really taking, being proactive in my healthy life. Because that's something that I really didn't seek. I wasn't seeking the uh, support of advocacy groups or my local aid service organization because I was ashamed. I was so scared. Growing up in a Mexican Catholic family, it was very, I felt, I felt like I was a disappointment and that I was, that my parents would ha already have their ideals about this. Um, so I just didn't talk about it. And I think those are the same reasons why I didn't seek the services. But I know now that if I would have allowed myself to have the support from my family, I wouldn't have got to that rock bottom. But I also know now, looking back, that for me, through my journey, I had to get to that point to really pick myself up and achieve everything that I've achieved since leaving that hospital. So when I left that hospital, the first thing that I did was get a dog. And <laughs> I did. I got a little dog. His name's Gordy. And uh, that was my little buddy, you know. And that was kind of like me picking myself back up. And it was one thing glad after the other. And then I was cast on Project Runway. And when I first got to Project Runway, I was so 
again, kind of awkward and I was very intimidated because I was still holding on to this secret. You know, this secret was really holding me back. And I remember when this challenge came up and I saw those pictures on the screen of me being, you know, a child and all these costumes that my mom had made me for Halloween and looking at them um, and transparently and remembering, wow, that was a really great time, but you know, they were also very tough times for us. Um, and I created the positivity print. And I don't know where that came from, and I don't know how it came, but somebody told me to create that print. And then the double whammy was that the next day, my mom showed up on set, and that was like, I was gonna scream because I didn't know what to do. Um, it just had a lot more pressure. Um, and even then, you know, she was talking to me, it was the first time for her, for her to be in New York City, and they gave us some alone time with our parents, and I could have told her, and I, and, and, and I guess I was being a little selfish because I really wanted to focus on my work. That was where I had an opportunity to really be validated as a creative person, and I was really focusing on work, so I didn't talk to her about it. So the next day, it was runway day, and, um, we presented our, um, our look. And I kind of danced around the subject. I was saying that it was all based on color and geometry, shapes, things that I loved as a child. And what you didn't see is that I actually had my critique first. And then all the other five designers told their inspiration behind their design. And it was really the designers that gave me the strength to talk about it because they're very open to talk about their inspiration. And so Heidi does her famous, okay, you can leave the runway. We'll have a little chat. <laughs> and we'll ask you to come back. So she excused us and we started walking off and then I actually stopped and turned to Nina and I said, Nina, you asked what my story was. And within a minute and a half, I told my story and at that moment, I got my life back. And I have to be honest, you know, it was a bittersweet moment for me because I was so proud of what I had done. And leaving that runway, I didn't, I didn't care if I was in or if I was out, you know. Um, I got upstairs and I started thinking about what's going to happen when I get home. And I'll tell you what happened. Four days before the episode aired, I sat down to dinner with my parents and my sister and my childhood home. And I knew what I had to do because I did not want my parents to find out on national television. And so I looked at my mom and she, I knew that she could tell something was going to happen. And uh, there was no easy way of doing it. So I took a breath and I looked at her and I said, Mom, I have to tell you something. I'm HIV positive, but I am healthier and happier than I've ever been in my life. And she looked at me and she said, I know. <laughs> and why would I doubt that? Of course she knew. <laughs> um, and then she continued on and I said, I'm really proud of you. And I hope that you use this to inspire other people to be proactive and continue to move forward. And that's exactly what I did. When Merck approached me to collaborate on the iDesign campaign, I said, of course, because it has a sense of self-reflection. And I think the campaign also deals with inspiration. For me, 
my inspiration has always been creativity. So I feel with the campaign, it's really important to collaborate with all of you, allow you to participate with us, and allow me to participate with you. Because it's really about everybody's journey and sharing stories because there's so much power in your story, in your story, in your story. Everybody's stories are so much more powerful if we share them. So before I leave, I want to say and encourage you to meet a new friend today, share your stories, and let's all move forward together. Thank you.